Have you ever heard of frame rate? It's a frequency. The cameras, depending on the quality and of the frame rate, how fast or slow it is, it will be the difference in whether you see all the frames of an object passing by the sun at high speeds or not. I don't have NASA's equipment. The frequency of which frames in a television picture, film, or video sequence, okay, they're displayed, and the higher frame rates are supposed to make fast actions so that the camera um, makes the scenes look smoother and you can see less stepping across stepping across the screen if you know what i mean when you look at my infrared camera sometimes those lights that are going by you see them go by there's a pause they go by there's a pause they go by there's a pause they slow down it's not that they're slowing down it's the frame rate so with that said i want to go into this part that i showed on the last video but i just want to explain it here on the member side so that you all know exactly what i was talking about and why i'm saying that because of the frame rates we're not seeing certain objects go by the sun so with that said, look at the circle. I didn't put this up in the last video, and I should have. I ran through this. There's so much I want to sh I'm trying to show you all. So I'm repeating the same part of the video. I want you to notice a whole bunch of things as you're looking at this. This is an object that is so fast that your eye is only going to see it appear once as a spot. In reality, this object is crossing across the whole entire sun and when I slow it down, you're going to see it very, very well. You're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six frames, but it's so fast. And of course, this is explaining in detail with proof and video, live video footage about the frame rate. Why is it sometimes that some objects look like they, it's just a spot on the screen? And when you slow it down, you can see that there's more frames in it. It's the speed. How do you think the UFOs are able to hide from us? My gosh, can you imagine how many are out there? Let's slow it down very little. Actually, more than a little. Yeah, because this was a fast object. So I actually thought the object was coming from the right. But when you look here, you see it passing across the sun from the left. One, two, three, four, five, a whole bunch of frames. But it is so fast that all those frames, with my camera, I saw one flash on the top of the sun, just like this. So let's go back to the flash. And that's it. That's all I was able to pick up. So imagine if I had missed this one spot, right? How many spots have I missed? How, how many things are hidden out there, do you think? And now it could be UFOs, it could be debris. A UFO is simply an unidentified flying object, right? We have aerial phenomena, which are lights. So we characterize them this way. So this is the sun yesterday. I'm filming it outside right now as you're watching this. I'll get that up on the regular side for you all later, probably. Take a look at the spots. Once again, the sun is starting to get aggressive. On the bottom, you see all those spots there? So again, this is facing Earth. There's always solar flares on the sun. Um, on the other side, on the eastern, southern limbs, you know, they change sides. And these flares, like the one on the bottom right, is very dangerous. And you could tell that if they connect, of course, it would make most likely another coronal mass ejection. So we're watching it a lot this week. Let's get in close and look at it a few different ways. So this is white light viewing of the sun, if ever you want to get informed on how I'm doing this. It's with a solar sun filter that you can order only in England at Bader Company. That's a good advertisement for them because I haven't seen it anywhere else. If you want to make your own filter and you don't want to adapt it to, um, you don't want to buy one for your device or can't find one, you can do it by hand quite simply by putting that over the end of your camera and be sure to completely hide your lens you know do not point the sun at all but this is the sun yesterday getting more aggressive i wanted to get this up for you all also thanks for watching so a couple of passes in front of the sun from yesterday good news i'm not going to make you wait for tomorrow to see today's sun while i was outside filming i had the time to bring it in and it's going to be a longer video, but I'll just get it all up at the same time. So again, this is all yesterday. So take a good look at what you're looking at so that we can compare with yesterday. If you see any objects flying by, they're birds. 
uh, pretty sure. And you'll see even some sway left. They go winding, you know, you can tell that they're birds. A meteor or asteroid is so apparent, it's striking when you can tell an object going by, as those of you hopefully are still here that saw some of the ones I posted recently. Even this year, 2022, so many captures. So I'm going around the sun from yesterday so that we can see and do a comparison with today's sun we're almost done so it's not too long when i post the sun videos guys i don't just sit there and film the sun for three hours while it goes by but i look at it and if ever i see anything happening i post it instead of posting a video and saying keep your eyes peeled in case there's any asteroids or anything i look at the uh, entire footage do you want to go over to today's sun footage this was the footage from the 24th of august 2022 and now we're going over to the 25th today. I'm going to keep this one strictly related to the sun. We'll keep it short. I'll get another one up right after this. Yeah. Aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens are on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon. 